two partners invested rupees 12,500 and 8,500 in the business. They decided that 60% of the profit will be equally divided between them while remaining profit will be assumed as interest on their capitals. If one receives rupees 300 more profit than other, what is the total profit in the business? So question from partnership is not uh, to be treated as a surprise, but this is interesting, right? It's not like a regular one from partnership. It says two partners have invested so and so amounts, 12,500 and 8,500. They decided that 60% of the profit will be equally divided between them. Equally divided between them. Which means each one will get 30% from the first 60% each. While the remaining profit, what is the remaining profit here? Remaining profit is 40%. 40% of the profit. 60% is equally divided. From the remaining 40% each, it will be assumed as interest on their capitals. Interest on their capital. Now what do you mean by capital? This 12,500 and 8,500 are capital amounts, right? That, that capital. And the 40% of the profit that they get, remaining 40% will be considered, considered as interest on the amounts that they have invested. Now in this scenario, if one receives, one person gets rupees 300 more than the other, what is the total profit in the business? What is the total profit in the business is the question, right? How do you do this now? See, understand, let us assume the total profit is P. Please do not write this in the exam. Why am I writing it? So that you can follow. Now, find out the ratio of their investments. Ratio of their investments. Investment ratio. Investment of A is to investment of B. So 12,500 divided by 8,500. How much will this be? This is 5 into 25 and 5 into 17. So basically, they have invested the amounts in the ratio. 25 is to 70. Now, I mean, P is like equal to 100% of P. I mean, let's let's talk in terms of percentage so that it's easier to work on the given question. Tell me who will get more interest. Obviously, he will get more interest because he has invested more amount. 60% will divide equally, but out of remaining 40%, A will get more share. We will get a bigger share. So obviously total of A is more than total of B. So when he says one receives 300 more than the other, who is that one who has got more? A has got more. Now let us understand. Profit of A minus profit of B equals to 300. What is profit of A? See, first 60% of profit is divided equally. 30% and 30%. 30% for A and 30% for B. Right? First 60% is divided equally between A and B. The remaining 40%, what happens to the remaining 40%? That remaining 40% profit is divided between A and B. In what ratio? In this 12, uh, 25 is to 17 ratio. Now you might be wondering, why is it 25 is to 17? Simple. The 40% will be like interest. Remember, the rate of interest is same for both the values. If the rate of interest is 10%, you know, A will get 10% of, I mean, not exactly 10% of 12,500. But then the point is, rate of interest is constant. So if I have invested 10,000, you have invested 20,000 in a bank, both of us will get in interest amount based on the investments because rate is same, period is also same. So basically the interest amount that we get will be in what ratio? In the ratio in which you have invested the values. Right? Your interest is proportional to the investment. So 60% is divided equally 30-30, 40% is divided in the ratio of 25 is to 17. So what is the profit of A? 30% of P half of this right half of 60 percentage so 30 percent of p plus out of remaining 45 percentage it will get 25 parts out of total 25 plus 17 42 parts of how much 40 percent of p minus profit of b b will also get 30 percent of the profit plus what else will b get 17 parts out of total 25 plus 17 42 parts out of this 40 percentage profit this is equal to 300. Done. One equation, one variable. Can you solve? Yes. Solve for P. So this 30% P and 30% P gets cancelled, right? Minus 30% P. 25 by 42 minus 17 by 42. How much is that? 8 by 42. 8 by 42 into 40% of P equals to 300. You're getting it? Our next step will be this. 8 by 42. Because 25 by 42 minus 17 by 42 will give you 8 by 42. Into 40%, which is like, 40% can be taken as 2 by 5. Right? I mean, let's, let's take it as fraction directly, right? 40% of P is common. 40% is 2 by 5. Into P equals to 300. Now solve, what happens? This is like 21 times. 
so p will be 300 into 5 1500 1500 into 21 you getting 3 into 5 1500 into 21 by 8 do the calculation i think 1500 by 8 will be how much 200 minus 12.5 right so this is like 187.5 into 21 i mean calculation is your look out 187.5 into 21 So close to, yeah, 180 into 21, 7.5 into 21. Do that calculation, you will get 3937.5. See, answer will not be an integer value. That is for sure. Will it be like 5000? This is close to 5000. No. Anyway, none of this is there. So we have to do a proper calculation. And I'm sure you will get 3937.5 as the answer. Right? 1800 into 20, 3600. 1800 into, sorry, 180 into 20, 3600. 180 into 1, 180. So 3600 plus 180, 3780. Plus 7.5 into 21. 7.5 into 20 is 150. So 3780 plus 150 is 3930. Plus 7.5 into 1, 7.5. So 3930 plus 7.5, 3937.5. Right?